they, so whenever you address it, they'll say, you're making me feel bad. But it's like, I'm not making you feel bad. You're, you're feeling bad that I'm bringing out, the, I'm shedding light at an action that you've done. This is reverse, reverse psychology. This is reverse psychology. It's a clear, classic, classic reverse psychology. So that, right, master manipulation. They want to make you feel bad for making them feel bad. Financially, or they cheat on you emotionally, or they cheat on you sexually. You that that it hurts, and then you're saying, "Ouch, that hurts." And the person's like, "You're making me feel bad." So when you when you were saying what you were saying, Imam Shadid, about how like um you know like doesn't matter how nice you put it, you know what I'm saying? Like they're still gonna somehow get like you're making me feel bad about myself. But that's why it's like, why can't you just be uncomfortable and take it? There you go. You know there you go. Why can't you just sit in your discomfort? I get it. What I'm saying to you shatters, you know, the, this mirror, this image of yourself that you had. Got it. But you have to sit in your discomfort. You can't now attack me because me bringing something to your attention makes you feel uncomfortable. Sit in your discomfort. That is the meaning of that word. Sit in your discomfort. Yes. I shattered your image. I got you. Pick yourself up off the floor. I got it. Sweep up the pieces. Clean yourself up off the floor. I had no other choice but to say what I needed to say to you. Now that you are discomforted, don't don't manipulate me. Don't gaslight me by telling me, well, you didn't have to say it like that. It didn't matter what I said, how I said it, you were still going to be offended simply because you are a defensive type of person. Anytime you are, your back is up against the wall, your guard goes up immediately because you have to protect this image that you have created of yourself in your own mind. You have to protect that at all costs. So when somebody brings a complaint or criticism to you, you shatter broken glass all over the floor. And if you are discomforted by something that I said, that becomes your responsibility. Don't hold me accountable for the emotions that arise when you are checked about something that you need to be checked on. That's just the bottom line. But don't run the, you know, don't manipulate me, gaslight me into making me believe. There's an ayah in the Quran, right? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the disbelievers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they ask, you know, well, give us a sign. And every time Allah shows them a sign, they turn right back around and disbelieve. Allah says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam split the moon in half. And what did they say? We, our eyes have, you know, magic has been played on our eyes, <laughs> right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If you saw every sign, you're still not going to believe. You asked for this sign, we gave you a sign. We asked for this sign, we gave you a sign. Ask for that sign, you're going to believe. We showed you the sign, you still disbelieve. You ask for another sign, we show you another sign, you still disbelieve. You ask for a sign, we show you a sign, you still disbelieve. If I showed you every sign, you're still going to disbelieve. So it doesn't matter what my approach is. I can approach with the nicest tone and the nicest words and, you know, and why is it that you have to superimpose on me how I have to approach you before you are willing to accept your wrong. You are the one that's wrong. You don't get to sit from a place of privilege now and dictate to someone how they're going to bring it to you in order for you to accept it. Like that is the ultimate manipulation. Like I'm wrong, but... You got to approach me like this and like this and like this. It got to be said like this. It got to be said like that in order for me to accept it. And it's almost impossible when you have offended me for me to come at you like this, like this, like this in order for you to accept it. You understand? So it's a double edged sword. So you can wrong me. You can offend me. You can wrong me. And I got to deal with the wrong that you did to me. And when I approach you. I got to approach you tiptoeing, stepping over eggshells in order not to offend you, just to bring to your attention something that you did that wrong. This is master manipulation, and some people have mastered it. 
Some people have mastered this art of manipulation. person to be able to they have to be able to see themselves in that moment there's no way around that because it doesn't matter how the person approaches them they're still going to find a way to manipulate the situation to work in their favor this is this is this is a narcissist yeah no, this is a malignant narcissist yeah. it's not just your average narcissist this is a malignant Narcissist, someone who has learned how to manipulate a situation to get what they want from the situation every single time. They win every time. Every time they win every single time. No matter how you approach, you can sit down and say, okay, so I'm going to approach this person in the nicest, fairest, kindest, just most fair, most just way. I'm going to choose the right words. You can sit down and just kind of, and then as soon as you bring it to the person, it's like, it's not good enough. <laughs> nope, you didn't approach me the right way. Nope, you didn't say it the right way. Nope, you didn't do this the right way. And it's just like, but it doesn't matter how I bring it to you. You're still, you're always going to find something wrong with my approach. You're always going to, how about you just accept what I said. And then after you digest that, then you can address me about how I approached you. Why don't you start with just accepting what is being said? Let's don't kill the messenger, right? Receive the message of what's being said to you. And then we can discuss my approach later on. So if you are a man and you are a woman and I'm, I'm recording this and you're listening to this, stop deflecting based upon how a person is approaching you. Start learning how to accept what is being said, even though it's being said to you in a way that you don't want to adhere it. You don't want to accept it. Learn how to force yourself to accept it. And then you can address the how, the approach. You can address that at another time. You can say, babe, I totally get what you're saying. Honey, I totally understand what you're saying. I got it. Duly noted. All right. Day, two days, three days go by and you can say, babe, you know, when you brought the situation to me the other day, I totally accept what you're saying. But, you know, can you talk to me instead of talking at me? I get it. You're frustrated. You're upset, you know, but, you know, just kind of being mindful of the approach. But I mean, even that, though, even that, though, if a person is just used to doing it. It's just never going to seem like the person can find the right way because that's just another it's a delayed manipulation. You know, what I mean, it's a delay. But I'm trying to give the person some wiggle room. Like if you want to address the approach, do that at another time. In that moment, just accept what the person is saying to you, unless you feel like what they're bringing to you is not you. But you can clearly see that the person is upset, clearly see that the person is, you know, frustrated with you. You know, obviously the person didn't pull that out of the hat. You understand? They got it from somewhere. You're doing something, you know, and some at some point you have to yield. You have to yield. You have to say, you know what? Okay, you're right this time. You're right. I got it. But every single time the person brings something to you, you find a way to turn the situation back on the person. You wiggle your way out of it. You win every single time. Every time. No, at some point you have to humble yourself. And even if you feel like you weren't wrong this time, but you were wrong the past 20 times, just humble yourself. And this is what to wild boy, this is what humility is. No, I may not have been wrong this time. But I was wrong 15 times before this that my spouse said something to me. Let me just start taking accountability. And perhaps it will become natural 
It will become natural for you to just accept criticism, natural for you to just accept the fact that people bring things to you that is wrong and you learn how to accept that and it will become natural. But when you're constantly deflecting, constantly on defense, defending yourself, you're never going to learn the art of accepting constructive criticism. You're never going to learn that art because you're always deflecting. You're always defending. Humble yourself. Just stand there and take it. Test yourself. See how well you can do. Just stand there when your spouse is bringing something to you, whether they're wrong, whether they're right, whether the approach is wrong. It doesn't matter. Test yourself. See if you can do it. Stand there and just take it. It's like a person standing on stage and somebody throwing tomatoes, oranges and throwing stuff at you. Stand there and see if you can just take it. And then afterwards, walk away, pick yourself up off the ground and then do it again. Until it becomes easier and easier and easier. You understand?